A house is made on a square piece of land measuring 2025 square feet. What is the length of the side of the plot? So the piece of land is a square and you have been given the area of this land that's 2025 square feet right and you have been asked what is the length of the side of the plot so let the side be s now what is the formula for calculating the area of a square well area of a square is equals to side square right so area is 2025 is equals to side square therefore the length of the side will be equals to under root of 2025. So what is the under root of 2025? That's 45. If you don't know how to calculate the under root, please check out the chapter on square roots and cube roots. So this will be in feet because area was given in square feet. So option C is the correct answer. The perimeters of 5 squares are 24 cm, 32 cm, 40 cm, 76 cm and 80 cm respectively. What is the perimeter of another square equal in area to the sum of the areas of these 5 squares? First of all, what is the perimeter of a square? Well, a square is very similar to a rectangle just that its length and breadth are of the same size right so what is the formula for calculating the perimeter of a rectangle well it is equals to twice the length plus breadth so the length is s and the breadth is s that is the side of a square so twice s plus s that's twice into 2s and that's 4s so the perimeter of a square is equals to 4 times its side so keep this in mind now let us solve this question. So there are five squares. Let the sides of each of these squares be S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5. Now we have been given the perimeters of these each of these squares. So the perimeter of first square is 24 centimeters. So I can write P is equals to 24 or in other words I can write 4 times S1 is 24. Here I have 4s2 is equals to 32. Now 4s3 is equals to 40. And 4s4 is equals to 76. And 4s5 is equals to 80. Okay. Now I can calculate each of the, you know, values of the sides of each of the square. Okay. So s1 is equals to 24 by 4. That's 6. S2 is equals to 32 by 4 and that is 8. S3 is equals to 40 by 4 that's 10. S4 is equals to 76 by 4 and that is 19. And S5 is equals to 80 by 4 and that is 20. So we have the sides of each of the squares. Let us calculate the area of each of the squares. So the area of first square will be equals to the side square so a1 is equal to 6 times 6 is 36, a2 will be 8 times 8 is 64, a3 will be 10 times 10 that's 100, a4 will be 19 square that is 361 and area of this fifth square will be 20 square that's 400. Okay. Now we know the areas. We have been asked what is the perimeter of another square equal to the sum of areas of these squares. So we have this area of a square which is equal to the sum of all of these areas. So that's 36 plus 64 plus 100 plus 361 plus 400. Now if you add up all of these you will get 961. But what is area? Area is side square. So we can calculate the side of this square. So side is equal to root of 961 and that is equal to we have 31 centimeter. So this is the side you have been asked the perimeter. Perimeter is equals to 4 times the side. That's 4 times 31 and that is equal to 124 centimeter. Okay. So option C is the correct answer.
50 square stone slabs of equal size were needed to cover a floor area of 72 square meters. What is the length of each stone slab? Now you have been given the area in square meters and the answers are in centimeters. So why don't we convert this area into square centimeter. So area is equals to 72 meter square and that can be written as 72 meters time meters. So this is equals to 72 into 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter. Okay. So this is basically equals to 7, 2 and 4 times zeros centimeter square. So this is the area. Now 50 stone slabs cover this complete area of 72 square meter. So I can write 50 into the area of one stone slab is equal to this complete area. So 720000. So we cancel out this zeros. So area of one slab will be equals to 72000. That's 72,000 by 5. And that will be equals to 14400. Right? So this is the area of a slab. Now what is the formula for the area of a square? That's side square. That's 144. This can be written as 144 times 100. Right? Now we have been asked what is the length of each stone slab and that can be calculated now. So s is equal to root of 144 times root of 100 and that's 12 times 10 and that is 120 centimeter. Okay? So Option B is the correct answer. A rectangular room can be partitioned into two equal square rooms by a partition 7 meters long. What is the area of the rectangular room in square meters? So you have a situation like this. You have a big rectangular room and it is partitioned into two square rooms and the length of this partition is 7 meters. So as these are two square rooms, so we have, you know, we can say that the side of these, both of these square rooms is 7 meters. So area of the complete rectangle will be equal to area of the first square plus the area of the second square, right? What is the area of the first square? That's the side square and the side is 7. So 7 square plus what's the area of the second square? That's again 7 square. And that is 49 plus 49 and that is 98 and that will be in meter square. Okay. So the area is 98 meter square. Uh oh, we don't have it in our options. So option D would be appropriate. None of these.